All right, guys, today's another uh, quick recipe for, basically this is for my friends and family, mostly for my kids, so they can come back and always see, you know, what or how dad cooked this or that. So today is gonna be picadillo. Picadillo is a, mostly a, what we call a guisado, which uh, we, we brown ground beef and uh, we put like a sauce, we can make a sauce into it. And we can add either corn, um, different types of veggies in there uh, however your liking is a lot of times so uh, we can put uh, like some type of pasta or fideo to it and and then we just let it simmer so today we're gonna add uh, peas and uh, and a sauce and I'm just gonna let y'all uh, see what uh, what y'all think so I hope you enjoy it's not my fishing videos but uh, this is just a little archive for my family and my friends hope you enjoy Go uh, like medium heat. Medium heat. We got two pounds of ground beef. This is a little more leaner. This is like a 9010 from a steer that that uh, that, uh, that I bought uh, with a group of guys. Um, it is a <clears throat> more of a leaner uh, show steer which you would think that it had more fat in it but it really doesn't so this is two pounds just because well i have a bigger family and uh we can uh i started making one pound uh, when we were uh, you know three or four of us in the house but now we're six so we got to do two so i'm gonna keep uh, this recipe a little basic so we're gonna we're gonna brown we're gonna brown this meat and um, so this is a season, uh, Ron Nuestro seasoning that, that I make. Um, it's actually, uh, we're gonna be selling that again. Um, this is a tomato sauce. Uh, if you're making a pound, I suggest maybe going with a small can. Uh, that's what that'd be like, I think it's eight ounces. This is a 15 ounce can, so I'm gonna use that for the two pounds. So I'm gonna do uh, my seasoning, uh, a little bit of, of salt, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. What's this here sauce? So as I'm browning, I'm gonna add a little bit to it. So large pepper, ground pepper. And that's pretty much it. You can get pretty creative with this. Uh, you chop up cilantro and all kinds of stuff. This is going to be a quick uh, dinner uh, for us. It's kind of late on a Sunday. So it'll take roughly about, if you brown this really, really good, uh, you can you can have it done in about 30 minutes. It's a quick recipe. But if you're like me, uh, I'll let it sit for about 45 minutes, an hour simmering uh, in a covered as I cover it. Actually, this is a little bit frozen still. Um, I'd be processed in the, in the microwave. So make sure that you get it nice and brown. <clears throat> We're gonna put a little bit of salt. Make sure you wash your hands too. A little bit of pepper. See, an 80, I started with a little bit of olive oil. So an 8515 would already have a bunch more, a bunch more fat in here, but as you can tell, it doesn't have that much fat. It would have, uh, it would have rendered out already, but that's okay. We can add a little bit more olive oil. We think that we're gonna need it. So I prefer uh, 85 or an 88. Uh, 9010 is a little bit lean, um, which is still doable. Like I said, this is probably a, a closer to a 9010. So here's where we're gonna add the seasoning. It's gonna go up top. Seasoning the top of this. This 
always has a lot of garlic powder and um, a lot of cumin, cumino. So I'm pretty generous with it just because it's not very salty. You have to be careful because you already added salt. So you have to be careful if you're adding a seasoning that has a bunch of salt in it. Don't over season it. Don't over season if you don't know what you're adding. Mm. That smells good. You can smell the cumin coming out of those.
person in my family does not like corn. <clears throat> so that's it. minutes you can render it down for another 15 minutes and it should be close enough so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring it up to a boil as soon as it comes up to a boil then I'll knock it I'll knock the temperature down to about half to medium heat from there I'll let it I'll let it simmer until until we have some of that water rendered down and we can see a sauce being made. So, so let's see what it looks like here in about 15 minutes. Hang in there. It's hot. That's our picadillo uh, with peas and corn. You can add a little cilantro to it here towards the end and just let it, when they're your last 15 minutes of simmering. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're finished. So the way you can serve it is with a side of beans and, and rice, or you can even make uh, some tacos with uh, 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 some flour tortillas and some beans and uh, you can serve yourself like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. And kids, there's no excuses for y'all not to learn how to cook and your wives, and your husbands, or whoever it is. So, thank you. Have a good one. We'll catch y'all later.